took us three days to reach Albania's borders, and already we could see that the place we were about to enter was a bit different from those we visited so far. We stopped by in a nearby city to exchange some of our money into the Albanian lag. And then we continued on to the seaside near the city of Leje. We found a third view. Beaches drowning in rubbish instead of the picturesque ones we saw on the internet. But determined to find those, we decided to head south the very next morning. So, anyway, we are here in Albania on the north and let's be real it's not fun not at all so today's plan is going south to the hopefully less mental regions so yeah that's that we are in a traffic jam no idea what to do now uh, we'll see you when we arrive I guess hello welcome back it's been an hour since we last talked to you, and as you can see, we are still in the traffic jam. And yes, look at the Merlin there. We travelled about 600 meters since the last time, so yes, that's that. And as I said, it's been an hour. All in all, we are fucked. It's hot, and we are running out of water. So uh, yes. I lo lo love this. We never did. Hungry and tired after the 13 hours of driving, we decided to hunker down for the night. We stayed near the Logara Pass with the thought of hiking up one of the mountains the next day.
it took us a whole day to hike up and down the mountain. So when we came back to our cars, it was already too late to continue on. So we decided to stay one more night. We took our time in the morning, but hey, this was a vacation after all. As we closed in on the southern point of Albania, I thought to myself, this might be it, the place we were searching for this whole time. wasn't. Instead we got greeted by a few middle fingers from an SUV full of Italian mums and a dusty dirt bro. But still we drove on with the promise of a clean picturesque beach which we really wanted to find. Fucking out back to the left. I can't help but feel fine. Everything is in its place and everything is mine. I can't help but feel good. I can't help but feel fine. Everything is in its place and all of it is mine. Okay, so we were told to go to the south of Albania. It's gonna be better, they said. It's gonna be nice, it's gonna be warm, the beaches are gonna be clean, the roads are gonna be much better. Yes, well they lied. So, right now we are on our way to Girogaster, which is supposed to be a nice city. And after that, we don't, we don't know. We don't know, but we gave up on the Albanian sea, because it, it sucks. It sucks. Hello, Chopliko. You're a very nice Chopliko. As we were heading towards Gurkaster, I prepared myself for another disappointment. But to my genuine surprise, it wasn't actually that bad.
In the end, we spent three amazing days exploring the city, tasting the local cuisine and the stuff the tourists generally do. And I gotta say, I did enjoy myself. We left Gerokaster and continued on inland. Albania left its mark on us all. We came here in search of its beauty, but I can't really say we found it. Not with a clear conscience, at least. That's not to say the country isn't beautiful, because it is. However, the constant presence of rubbish hinders their beauty somehow. We spent a total of 14 days here and even though I brought back fond memories from this trip and will encourage you to visit this country because it is fun. I don't think I'll be coming back to Albania anytime soon. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again with the next adventure.